Hi there, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the best basketball shoes for those who have white feet. So for this list, I'll focus on width and the fit. Um, also, these are all good shoes that came out recently too. Uh, you know, if a shoe is simply wide enough, but it doesn't perform as well, uh, that's not going to make it. If there's anything to be aware of with a particular shoe, I'll let you know as well. There are obviously other good options for our fellow white footers, uh, let's say from last year. But for the sake of this video, I'll stick to the newest releases in 2023. Uh, for reference, I have slightly wider feet. Definitely not like 4E wide, but I also have very flat feet. And as I kept gaining weight in the past few years, I've noticed that my feet became fatter too. Uh, anyways, I think the fit is super important. If a shoe is too narrow, then some of us simply don't get to enjoy playing in them. So let's talk about the shoes that will work for wide feet based on my experience. When I think about shoes that have a good width, the first one that comes to mind immediately is the Court Rider. And this year's newest version, the Court Rider Chaos, is a fantastic option for wide feet. You'll get decent space in the toe box, more than sufficient room in the midfoot for most people. Very easy to put on and take off, little to no break in time required too. They're on the slightly heavier side, and traction performance is about average. But if you need a shoe with a white base, these are definitely a safe pick. Should be a lot of colorways to choose from, especially for those of you in the US. Same thing with the Court Rider 2.0, by the way. Those are great too. And also from Puma, the Playmaker Pro is also good for white feet. But because of some issues with the upper stability and traction on dust, I do think the Court Riders are a better performer overall. Okay, from Nike and Jordan brand, uh, they typically don't give us shoes that are very waifu friendly, but some of the newest models do have decent room inside. Uh, I'll pick two here. Uh, one of them is the Jordan Why Not Point 6, possibly the last Russell Westbrook signature shoe, and also the Cosmic Unity 3, uh, both have more than average width. Quickly going back to last year, the Why Not 0.5, or I think they're just calling it the 0.5 and 0.6. That shoe was already on my list last year. And the Why Not 0.6 continues to be a good shoe for wide feet. I think Russ himself has wide feet too. Even the zipper kind of makes sense to avoid that space inside given the width. There's also like a small hook to hang the zipper so it doesn't bother your movements. Very lightweight too, not bad. The Cosmic Unity 3 is a complete change up in terms of fit compared to the Cosmic Unity 2. Uh, the 2, even after going up a half size, it was still too tight. The upper does not conform to your feet nicely and it just kept pressing down, so it cost me a lot of soreness. But the 3 is actually much more spacious inside, especially around the midfoot area. Performance wise, I just got these in, so I'll probably need more playing time to come up with a conclusion. But in case you're wondering how they fit, going true to size already has plenty of space for me this time. Next up, another great shoe for wide feet is the Adidas Trey Unlimited. Uh, so from Adidas, they had a lot of great waifu friendly options in the last year or two. Uh, you know, the Trey Young 1, Dame 8, uh, also Harden Volume 6 was pretty good but sometimes they came at a cost of some heels of itch. The newest Trey Young budget shoe is a very typical Adidas hoop shoe, just like that. A little bit on the heavier side, sufficient room in the toe box, midfoot is wide enough too. Traction on dust was a concern from my experience, but it wasn't a fail, uh, more like average or slightly below that. However, the bounce midsole feels soft and responsive, a surprisingly nice heel compression, and I actually really like the design too. And of course, one of the best shoes this year, the Harden Volume 7, works for wide feet too. I never found this sock collar to be uncomfortable or anything, and it's just not a tight or narrow shoe that squeezes your feet. This puffer jacket upper is actually very cozy on feet, so this is a good choice too. Now, one of my favorite picks on this list a super underrated budget shoe is the UA Lockdown 6. This shoe is very white foot friendly and also excels by providing a good amount of space around the midfoot area. I would even pick these as the best budget shoe under 100 bucks right now. Traction works very well. They're durable for outdoors. A lot of colorways are on sale already, so just a nice low maintenance shoe that you can easily find at like famous footwear. Yeah, if you want a white foot friendly budget shoe, I would strongly recommend the Lockdown 6. Last but not least, the All City 11 is a great pick out of the Way of Way shoes if you have white feet. So unlike some of the other ones on this list, where the midfoot area is more tolerant for most foot shapes, the All City 11 has a great toe box fit. They're comfy, smooth on feet with a nice transition, 
Moving around and pivoting on the forefoot feels very fluent. And I mean, the base itself is pretty wide too. A downside is probably how this upper material loosens up over time. It just doesn't stick up to your feet as much and you lose some of the support and rigidness. But these are still one of the most comfortable shoes out there uh, from my experience. So All City 11 is good. Uh, so is the 808 2. Just that the V2 became tighter to improve the lockdown with that strap. That's about it for this video on the best basketball shoes for wide feet. Uh, again, these are all some of the recent releases. So hopefully you can get a sense of what might be a more ideal choice for yourself based on the fit and your foot shape. If you have other options that work really well, please feel free to share with others and myself down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.